guys, Adam here again with a two minute wellness tip. This is Chaturanga, a low push up position. One of the main things, the main issues that happens in Chaturanga is the shoulders collapse forward. This is mainly due to strength uh, and uh, body awareness. What you want to do in Chaturanga is roll your shoulders back down the spine, pull them away from your ears, get as much distance between your shoulders and your ears as possible. We also don't want the core to collapse forward, so we don't want the tip of the pelvis forward. We want to press the tailbone towards the heels and see if we can draw the front of the ribs in. If you can't do that, then just keep your knees down on the mat until you can do that and move from there. That's called progression. Here I am on my hands and knees. I tuck my toes, I find plank, and instead of letting my lower back collapse and sway like in a cow pose, I press my tailbone toward my heels, draw the front of my ribs in. I'm gonna roll my shoulders back away from my ears and keep my shoulders over my wrists, not in front of my wrists. As I lower down, I can make sure I keep my shoulders back away from my ears and my core engaged, flexing my thighs, rather than letting my shoulders collapse down. This will weaken me, and it'll put pressure on the labor, the front of the shoulder. So the shoulders roll back, core engages, I'm halfway down. I also don't want to squeeze my elbows in tightly. I can let my elbows float back. I don't want them out, but I don't want them to squeeze in uh, to my rib cage. Elbows floating back, shoulders back, ribs in. And the neck. The neck stays long and straight. Don't let the chin collapse or the forehead collapse down. This is your chaturanga. If you have a hard time with this, drop to your knees, okay? You can lower down into chaturanga, lower your hips, don't stick the bum up. Keep your core engaged, lower the hips, and press back up. And do this until you can hold chaturanga for a couple of breaths at least. There you have it, Chaturanga.